there, I'm Joseph and today we're here on Miguel and Tisha's farm. We were here a few weeks back so you, you've probably seen that episode. If you haven't, there's a link up here, click on that and have a watch, it's, it's quite exciting. Well, a few weeks ago we checked out those, uh, those beautiful stone fairy tale buildings. Miguel and Tish, they were, they were kind enough to let, us, to let us come with them and explore the first time that they had been opened in God knows how long. It was, uh, it was 40 years. 40 years, okay, yeah, 40 years they'd been abandoned for. So, so there, was, there, was some, there was some very interesting finds in there. We found, we found these old grindstones and the mechanisms that, that wound them round, uh, that, that grinded them round and everything. And yeah, really, really quite something. Well, you can probably hear there's a stream right behind the camera there, and the stream comes round here, and it gets diverted via an aqueduct here once it's, once it's been cleared out, and the water will fall on this iron water wheel, turn the water wheel, and that's what's going to grind the grain into flour inside. So, uh, so I think we're going we're gonna to check out that building. Yeah, today we have the key. We've got some brambles to clear, but once we get in there, we're going to be going in this mill for the first time in 40 years. Wow stepping directly into a time capsule it should be pretty exciting should be so yeah without any further ado i guess uh let's go yeah let's, let's get go in take there a look let's go <laughs> Okay, wow, <laughs> that was uh, that was some bramble cutting we done there. We uh, we got quite a lot down, but now we've uncovered the uh, all the entrance here and uh, all of this beautiful big uh, big veranda at the top here, and uh, we've been looking and we're we're fairly sure that this is a pigsty. It looks um, it looks like it's sort of pigsty pigsty shaped. I think uh, the wall looks about the same size and it's got a a mini wall there with uh, with a gateway and then the the indoor bit there. I'm fairly sure this would have been a pigsty. So. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, we'll go in, yeah? <laughs> I'm hoping this key works yeah. or we might have to use that window. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> There's a window there. We might well have to jump into that. But yeah, radio. let's go. <laughs> so they've got all of, these, all of these beautiful stone walls here that we've uncovered. And as would have been the fashion 40 years ago or so, they, uh, they plastered all of this wall over to, to hide the fact that they were stone cottages. But yeah, I think you're going you're gonna to uncover all the stone again, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at this animal feed. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> an old manger of some all right, some all right, kind. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Okay, we've got the got the door open. It's uh, a little dark. Have you got a flashlight at all? <laughs> oh. That's handy. <laughs> oh wow. I can see the uh, see the sky through there. There's a an old skylight. <laughs> Watch those floorboards. An old, uh, an old fireplace. Yeah, the kitchen. Then yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, pots and pans. You see the ladle? Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, it's like someone just just left all of their things and and went. The old stove. <laughs> Wonder if there's anything in the drawers. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. 
Oh, look at these chairs. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that just gives you an idea of how small some of these people are. Yeah. I mean, compared to you standing there next to the chairs, they are tiny. And there it is here. What they would have set the, uh, set the, the cooking pot on. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, oh look! Is this? Uh, I'm not sure. Is this the chain they would have, they would have hung the, um, hung the cauldron on? I think. Oh wow! I reckon. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I reckon. Oh, you can see the old slatted wooden oh, yeah. wooden beams there. <laughs> Crikey! Radio. Let's move on. We've seen the seen the kitchen. All of Miguel, look at those, look at those bottles all stood there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Dusty old bottles, they've uh, they've got a few years of dust on them. That's that's a staircase there. Looks like looks like that's a staircase. Yeah. I've seen enough movies that this is not where you want to go. <laughs> Halloween's passed now, we should be okay. <laughs> Sorry about how uh, how dark it is on the camera here. <laughs> Here's one of the uh, mechanisms for the, the mill. Oh, nice. Someone told me the name of those in the comments of the last video. I think it was a squirrel something, a squirrel gear or a squirrel cage or something like that. Here, let me grab your camera a second, Joe. Got the old thing of wine here. <laughs> it's kind of wine or some animal trap. Oh yeah, back there. I mean, there you go. thank you. I mean the uh, the property here. It's on the it's on the edge of a uh, of a chestnut forest. So that um that that animal trap might well have been for might well have been for squirrels perhaps. <laughs> I guess. Sorry, it's dark. <laughs> Let's move on. I think we need to be careful of those floorboards. I can see a couple of holes already. A couple of holes there. <laughs> Beautiful old dressing okay. table or something. Tug there. that too hard. Some liquor. Or glass. Or uh, panes of glass. <laughs> Yeah, oh, look at this. This is that, uh, I, somebody I'm sure in the comments is going to tell me what type of glass this is, but, oh, that's unfortunate. Broken on that one, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, like a, like a cloth thing in there as well, like a little curtain. Oh, here's a, uh, here's another one of those chests we found in the other mill. Ah. And it looks like a, a sifter. Okay, so a sieve for the flour, yep, yep. Look at that spider web. So I wonder if the if the chests would have held uh, held all of the all of the flour or something. I don't know. All right. When you come through here, oh yeah, we need to be very careful of the. Uh, oh, we got another chest. Of the holes in the floorboards there. <laughs> another chest. Anything inside? No. <laughs> creepy crawlies. Yeah. This is a tight little corridor. Step over those. Holes in the floorboards. Okay, looks like this is the jackpot then. Found the hidden treasure. This is the oh. old grindstone here. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely marvellous. That is. That is a solid couple of stones there. So I guess the uh, there's a hole in the top. You pour the uh, pour the grains in the cereals, and then they go in between the uh, in between the the two stones and grinds out and then I'm not sure where again someone in the comments probably knows but the the flower comes out amazing absolutely amazing well there's a chamber downstairs that we still have to get to okay and I think yeah this this makes sense now the the iron water wheel that we saw at the beginning of the of the video it's um it's on the other side of this wall so yeah that that makes sense there's going to be an iron pole come through here or wooden perhaps I don't know old wooden beams <laughs> Look at that. There's a couple grinding stones Miguel, right there. Miguel, look at that. <laughs> oh, 
someone's coffee cup sat on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Rusted through. Yeah, wow. <laughs> oh, more grindstones, yeah, yeah. Look at this. I'm putting so much care into where my where my feet are going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh okay. And there's outside. I didn't know there was a window there. We were stood just outside there earlier. We were we were just on the other side of that hole. Yeah. Beautiful grindstones. There's a oh, door wow. there. That explains why we couldn't get through that door. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Just before we come into this door, we tried another door and it didn't work. So <laughs> that explains why there was no moving those those grindstones. <laughs> And ladders. So, oh look, here's a uh, here's a trap door. Oh, and I think there's another the... way for us to access that. Down to down to some sort of wine cellar or something like that, I guess, or maybe like a root cellar. I don't know. Um, that's probably the equipment for the mill. Okay. Yeah. 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 That does make sense. Yeah. So we've step. been getting a lot of rain <laughs> the last few days, and uh, you can see where there's a. One of the tiles has probably shifted or there's some type of leak. Yeah, yeah, it's all wet there, so careful yeah, on that out. one. And then... Oh, and the plaster's all falling away, revealing yeah, those that. beautiful stones. It's a crying shame to, uh, to cover those stones up, really, isn't it? Fashions change over time, though. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this wall is actually pretty moist. Yeah. So... I think it, I think it used to be that... Uh, that would be like a, a bit of a symbol that you didn't have too much money if uh, if you had only stone walls because you couldn't afford to to plaster them over. Nowadays, it's uh, it's the opposite. <laughs> so here's everyone's uh, coat racks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And then we've come round in a circle, and we are back. Well, let's um back in the hallway here. Let's go to where we saw that open window. Yeah. Is the next room? I think this looks like this might have been the uh... the window we saw. Oh yeah, I think this might have been the living quarters. Be careful on that floor, there, Miguel. There's uh... <laughs> there's holes. Wow. Is that is that from a roof tile? No. The, well, I was pointing out the uh, the floor. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's a hole down there. Look, the bed's still made. And there's a. Uh... The Last Supper up there as well. <laughs> the bed's still made. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Yeah, with the old woolen, the old woolen uh, sheets there. Wow, wow. So naturally, let's... we need to have a need to have a nosy. <laughs> Nothing inside. Here's a pair of keys and some glasses. Oh look, look, a pair of keys and some glasses. Oh uh, look at those, yeah. <laughs> I wonder what the keys are for. Perhaps for the uh, for the drawers here. I don't know. This yeah. one's open. Oh, buttons! So someone did a bit of sewing in here then. <laughs> lots and lots of buttons there. Does anyone ne here need a button? I'm sure. Check this out. <laughs> What's so, in here? What's in here? This is someone's pot to go to the bathroom. Oh, a chamber pot. Yeah. <laughs> A bedpan. Wow. <laughs> Glad it's empty. Don't drink your, uh, your tea out of that one in the morning. <laughs> this is like a, like a time capsule. I think you said that earlier, didn't you? <laughs> it really is. It really is. Did we, uh, did we try and get into any more of these drawers? I'm not sure. Let's take a peek. I think that's a mouse's nest. Mm -hmm. Stiff brush. <laughs> Can you get that one? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It's unfortunate the Beatles got to this because yeah. this is still in pretty good shape. Yeah. Looks like the rest might be empty. <laughs> is that the last one? Uh, I think that's a drawer on the bottom, but I don't think anything's in it. Looks empty. Uh, empty. This chair here has seen better days, I think, by the look of it. Yeah. <laughs> a nice old mirror there. Yeah. Look at these. Uh, look at these pencils. Ooh. Oops. Old pencils. Look at those. Fantastic. 
And this is that, that same type of glass. Hmm. So you can see when they created it, it was a different process and there's deviations uh, like in it. Yeah. Wa wavy, you can see them with your eye, it's wavy, yeah, yeah. More drawers, anything? Nope. <laughs> Someone's cleared all the drawers out by the look of it. <laughs> Nothing else in the drawers. No. Okay, and as we come out of uh, that that room over there, we we have another room over here, which looks like it's uh, it's leading out to the uh, out to the pigsty. So let's take a peek. Right. Now Ooh. we're under the building. Under the building, yeah. And the, the God floor knows is a bit different. Stepping in. <laughs> yeah, the floor is a bit different in here. I'm not sure if it's just soil or. But that's where we want to go. Right, um, there is a... I just realized this is where bats have been living. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't see any. Wow, they uh, they they made these buildings for people a bit shorter than us, I think. We're hunched yeah. right over in here. The building, the other uh, building, the, the room must be, uh, must be four, five foot, <laughs> five foot tall, I guess. Hmm. It won't open. I might need your help with this. Let me see if I can... <clears throat> I don't think the building settled on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll get it. Uh, I think it's nailed shut. Nailed shut. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, what a shame. What a shame. I mean, that probably means what's in there is very well preserved. Yeah. Hmm. It's not going anywhere. What a shame. Because <laughs> I think well, going into here would be underneath the grindstones, yes. right? Yeah. Well, I'd say at this point, your audience needs to subscribe. Yeah. So they can see <laughs> what's in here on a future date. Yeah, when we come back with a hammer or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what this room would have been. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, so here's a uh, here's a big old manger. Fantastic. Must have been a big big animal eating out of this one. It's quite it's quite high. It's like chest height on me. Probably a donkey. Um, check out this uh, stone coming up out of the ground. Very very nice. This I would imagine that here. this is probably <laughs> some of the best compost soil. Yeah, I would imagine so. It smells like it. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't smell bad. It's really, uh, it's really soft though. It's like, it's like quicksand, like, like sinking into the ground. Yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a tiny little, I don't know if it's a door. Or, it looks like a door, but it's a small door. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got one more room to explore besides okay. uh, the bottom of the mill that's been nailed shut. Yeah. And there goes out to the pigsty. <laughs> so we come up these big, beautiful steps here. Oh. Okay, so we've just come out of that uh, that beautiful stone building, and now we're heading towards this way. There's one of one of Miguel's other beautiful stone buildings there. That is absolutely gorgeous. And down here, there is a marvelous bread oven. This bread oven has got quite a few years to its name I should say and it's probably baked quite a few loaves wow look at that <laughs> and then there's another door down here we've not been in this one again so we don't know we don't know what's in here yet Ooh, lots of rubble on the steps coming in look at that old old lock there <laughs> is that a, uh, a, a chest like a like a box to look inside or uh yeah joe let yeah. me uh let me volunteer you <laughs> <laughs> to open how do thing. we how do we get in i have no idea me either oh i think it, it might be light. i think it's a chest I... and we have some machinery here there's a big chest right here oh so there is look at that oh and look some kind of Iron old, rings. Old iron rings, yeah. No idea what they were right. for. Ready? Ready. Let's go. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Flower sacks. Flower sacks, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. There we go. And over here, a couple of cobwebs. Massive beam. Look at the size of that beam. <laughs> oh, Joe, you need some boots? Some boots, yeah. <laughs> they look in better condition than mine do. <laughs> oh, look, here's a, uh, a donkey shoe. Ah, for good luck, I think. Or to be haunted. Yeah. <laughs> here's a, uh, some type of hood, leather hood. For a jacket, yeah, yeah. And here, this is... Some type of animal skin. Yeah, it's animal skin. I don't know if it was like a, like a, like a strap for a bag or something like that, perhaps? There's another boot on the floor there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Help a tiny yourself. little room. This would have this would have been like a, like a workshop or something. I, I guess. Look at the door. Yeah. <laughs> Righty oh. And out we well, come. Let's grab the tractor and see if we can get into that other building. Let's do that. Good idea. Righty oh. Time for some tractor work. Okay, we've cleared out the first building now. That was uh, that was that was hard work. We uh, yeah. we done a lot of cutting with that. Now we're on the second building, and I believe you know what this building was before, right? I've I've heard it was to house donkeys. Okay, so a donkey but, yeah, stable. We don't wow. know what to expect. I mean, you can see that the uh, the brambles have completely encased the front. We actually don't even know how far this drops off. Yeah, it might be a really deep drop. It might be some stairs. Could be a slope. We've no we've no idea, but. I guess there's only one way to yeah. find out, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Miguel has just cleared out all the brambles, so now we're uh, we're going into the uh, the donkey stables for the first time. So let's go see what's what's lurking in there. Well, it wasn't wasn't too deep a drop in the end. Then it was a a slope, I think, right? Yeah, not too bad. You can see the the height there on the on the old doorways. They make them <laughs> make them small. I guess people were shorter back then. Do you need a knife? Yeah, may I see a knife? That candy pocket knife. That one of my subscribers gave me. So thank you very much to Christoph. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Christoph. Yeah. There we go. Thank you very much, Christophe. Thank you. <laughs> Have you got a flashlight by any chance? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful stone walls. And I think, would all of the, the hay be, be chucked up here for the for the donkeys to eat yeah, that's I that's a so. guess I, I i think so <clears throat> cobwebs in my hair <laughs> there we go <laughs> beautiful beautiful stone walls in here yeah and floors yeah yeah stone floors look at that yeah yeah so a big granite granite slab. not too much in here but but a very interesting, interesting yeah, yeah very interesting find yeah and what a what a smashing building to have on your land. Yeah. Any any plans in your heads for for this building? This will be one of the last ones we renovate because we're going to start at the top and work our way down. Okay. We're going to be uh, you know, probably starting with solar up at the top, but as we get 
down towards the mills, we're going to, uh, you know, try and incorporate some hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric, fantastic. Yeah, yeah something like that, some alternative energy sources. And, and like I said in the last video, I've seen some of your work, some of your previous work, and it really is fantastic. So I know, uh, I know whatever you do with these beautiful buildings, it's going to be smashing. And I know that you're quite a big fan of keeping the, uh, the history alive of the buildings. Yeah, keeping everything them, yeah. everything that can be preserved will be preserved i mean when you look at some of these beams there's definitely some beetle damage and unfortunately they're probably just going to have to be replaced but um anything that we can preserve we will preserve and uh you know keep this farm alive yeah absolutely marvelous fantastic <laughs> righty oh well let's go All have right, a drink well, let's go yeah. have a drink by the stream i think shall we <laughs> oh, definitely <laughs> we've earned it <laughs> Radio, we've just about finished for the day now. We've uh, we've had quite a productive day. We've got um, got a few of the uh, we've got another mill house opened up down the bottom, and we've we've explored in there the donkey stables as well. Miguel has just finished on the tractor. He's just been doing a, a bit of chopping up and mulching, and uh, and yeah, I guess we're going to go back and have something to eat now. Yeah, thanks for watching. We've got some uh, really interesting projects coming up. We've mm -hmm. got a passive solar greenhouse, the hydroelectric, Fantastic. the solar, Fantastic. just all kinds of things. So if you want to stay updated and you want to see what we're doing in the future, subscribe to Joseph's channel. Yeah, and now we're, we're going to go back, have a couple of beers, and then, uh, and then we're going to film something on my farm and, and see if we can get a few jobs done over there. But yeah, Sounds let's go. Good. <laughs> Okay, we're now back on our farm, and it's been uh, it's been somewhat of a, a wet and windy week this week. We've had uh, had a few torrents of rain, and uh, it's really it's really made the made the summer disappear now, and the autumn's come in rather rather chilly to start with. But um, anyway, we're outside, and we're going to be doing some some grilling, which granted is not necessarily the best wet weather form of cooking, but um, but yeah, I'm sure it's going to be nice. And what we're cooking today is going to be nice and hot and I'm sure it's going to warm us up inside. But yeah, so we've got some uh, some sustainably farmed sea bream here, which is uh, which is a good alternative to the uh, to the wild sea bream. And uh, and we've got some some chili paste, we've got some uh, some rice vinegar here, we've got some other some other uh, seasonings and chilies and whatnot here, some limes, some salt, garlic and some coriander. And we're going to be making a nice oriental sweet chili sea bream. Let's go. Yeah.
Okay, we've had another splendid week here on the farm. Right now we're in the olive grove. I'm looking at all these big, beautiful olives here. They're all turning black now, so the harvest is just around the corner now, so we're gonna get lots of, lots of olive oil with a bountiful harvest, I think. But yeah, looking forward to that in the coming weeks. Once again, we've been absolutely honored to go and, uh, to go and view uh, Miguel and Tisha's watermill farm, and what a stunning place that is over there. It's absolutely delightful. I love going there every time I can. And uh, yeah, I know that Miguel has got some absolutely fantastic projects and ideas going on for that place. So please click the subscribe button down below if you want to see the, uh, see the updates in the coming videos, because I'm sure we're gonna be going there again. But yeah, thank you very much to everyone who wished uh, Mitzi uh, all, all the best and all, all, the, all the well wishes that I got in messages because uh, she, 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 she really is suffering with that dog attack that she had. But um, fortunately, uh, she's been to see the vets this week and it's the first time he said that, yeah, she's turned a corner and it looks like she is going to pull through. Um, she, had, uh, she had a bit of a vicious dog attack. She, she got uh, bitten on the side. I showed her in, in last week's episode and, and the episode before that. But yeah. She she's, looks like she's going to be on the mend. She's now able to go outside on a lead and, and have a little walk around the farm. Not too much so that it doesn't strain the, uh, the stitches and things that she's got, but she's starting to heal up now. So I'm super grateful about that. And yeah, like I say, thank you very much to all the people that sent your well wishes and regards to her. I really, really do appreciate that. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you so much to my Patreons. It really is because of you guys that I can continue to make this content. So I'm very, very grateful to you guys as well. Thank you. And yeah, have a marvellous week, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Thanks a lot. Bye. Mm -hmm.